you doing there folks? Baiters here with another Top 10. Today we're going to look at the Top 10 new weapons we've seen for Fallout 76. Now some of these weapons are big and scary, others are small and pathetic. But guess what? They're all fucking new as shit. Remember if you like this video to smack that like button because every time someone likes this video, a dyslexic donkey named Gunther learns a new word. Now go ahead and throw a dead jellyfish at a poster of Randy Savage and let's get to average bait, baby! At number 10, we've got the Flintlock Pistol, or the Black Powder Pistol. Now, I really enjoy these old-style guns. It makes me feel like a pirate who's about to pillage and plunder all over somebody's butthole. Reloading a Flintlock Pistol is kind of like foreplay, too. You basically molest it and stuff shit deep inside of its no-no hole until it fucking explodes its gun jizz all over somebody's face. Plus, without sounding too sexual, just looking at the reload animation reminds me of jerking off, especially when you put it on loop. I mean, look at that, and tell me, that guy's not giving that gun a handy. You can't, can ya? Cause he is that sick son of a bitch. Wow, look at that guy go. Flintlock is a general term for any firearm that uses a flint striking ignition mechanism. The term may also apply to any particular form of the mechanism itself. Also known as the true flintlock that was introduced in the early 17th century and rapidly replaced early firearm ignition technologies, such as the matchlock, the wheel lock, and the earlier flintlock mechanisms. Now the true flintlock continued to be in common use for over two centuries, replaced only by the percussion cap and later the cartridge based systems in the early to mid 19th century. Although long superseded by modern firearms, flintlock weapons enjoy continuing popularity with black powder shooting enthusiasts. This to me looks like one of the most interesting new additions to Fallout 76 and one that I'm eager to get my butter covered fingers all over. Mmm, finger licking delicious. I rate this weapon one baby that gets a little hostile when you buy him 2% instead of skim milk. What the fuck is this? At number 9, we've got the sickle. Now the sickle is farming equipment effective at trimming shrubs or bushes. Also a murder weapon used by the children of corn to slice and dice motherfuckers. I know what you're thinking, sickle, that doesn't sound cool at all. It doesn't even explode, baiters. How can I get excited if it doesn't blow shit up? Well, sickles are pretty cool, and I'll tell you why, imaginary person I just made up to make a point. First of all, Death uses a sickle, albeit it's a big super badass sickle, but a sickle nonetheless. Also, those bastard crazy cult kids who live in that cornfield like to chase adults with sickles. Say what you will about those little nutballs, but they're pretty good at killing. I mean, the children of corn killed a whole town of adults, and they were just little booger-faced children. I don't know much, but I do know this, I could probably beat up a child. I mean, not a child that's like big for his age or anything, I mean, fuck that, but like a child that has no special training whatsoever. Yeah, I could fuck up that little bitch, probably kick him in the face while he's playing Lego or some shit, he'd just be smiling, wouldn't even see it coming. <laughs> so if these kids overpowered a bunch of adults, maybe it had something to do with the fucking sickles, that's all I'm saying here. I, and I mean, in all fairness, there's just not much to say about a sickle, it's a, it's a curvy knife, really, I mean... <laughs> Like, what the fuck? It's not the best weapon. It's not the worst weapon. It, it's not even as cool as a sword, but it, it, it cuts shit. You know what I mean? I rate this weapon one innovative guy who built his own helicopter out of wood. Wow, would you look at that? He may or may not have died 10 minutes later in a helicopter accident. At number eight, we've got the mystery power weapon. Now you never get to see this gun fire in the trailers, but we do know it's a big boy gun. Because it's in this scene with all the other big boy guns. I've honestly been basking in the mystery of this weapon. It kind of looks like a big hot tub water jet, but something tells me it sucks instead of blows, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like maybe it sucks out people's souls through their nipples, I don't even know man, but it could do cool shit, right? Yeah, not a conventional weapon, but a soul sucker would be hella effective, Todd if you're listening. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I have no idea what this weapon does. I'm assuming it shoots like a gigantic plasma blast or something, but there's just not a ton of info to go by. We don't even know at this point what the name of the weapon is. Either way, I love surprises, except when that surprise is a murderer behind my shower curtains. That kind of surprise makes me piss in my pants because it's a terrifying surprise. Oh my god! What the? Oh! <laughs> Please! No! <laughs> 
and maybe my worst nightmare come to life. But normal surprises like too many marshmallows in a s'more or some shit, those kind of surprises are fun. And I'm sure whatever this gun does, it will be a pleasant surprise and not a murder surprise. And a welcome addition to Fallout 76. I rate this weapon one lemur who got a job working at the DMV. Sir, I'm gonna need you to calm down. I don't write the rules, but I do really enjoy them. At number 7, we've got the Single Action Revolver. I know what you guys are thinking, single. This gun must be out clubbing all night, raw dog and the randos, right? WRONG! Single has nothing to do with its relationship status. I should know, I checked twice. Okay, you caught me, I checked three times. Alright, fair enough, I checked eight times, NOTHING! Alright, NOTHING! Has nothing to do with relationship status. I'm sure of it, the internet has confirmed it. To be precise, in a single action revolver, the hammer is manually cocked, usually with the thumb of the firing or supporting hand. This action advances the cylinder to the next round and locks the cylinder in place with the chamber aligned with the barrel. The trigger when pulled releases the hammer which fires the round in the chamber. To fire again, the hammer must be manually cocked again. This is called single action because the trigger only performs a single action of releasing the hammer. Because only a single action is performed and the trigger pull is lightened, firing a revolver in this way allows most shooters to achieve greater accuracy. Additionally, the need to cock the hammer manually acts as a safety. The Colt Patterson revolver, the Walker Colt, the Colt's Dragoon, and the Colt's single action army pistol of the American Frontier era are all good examples of this system. Now, I love revolvers. I love the way they look and address or the way they feel up my asshole when I'm smuggling them into a foreign country, or the way they smell after I take them out of my asshole and sniff them, you know? I really love single action revolvers. I think they're a really cool dynamic, and I loved having them in Fallout New Vegas. And the fact that we didn't get to see any of them really in Fallout 4 was a bummer, so I'm really eager to try this one out in Fallout 76. Now, although we don't have any images of the single action revolver, we can assume it's going to look pretty similar to most other single action revolvers and operate in a very similar fashion. I rate this weapon one baby that just realized his parents aren't perfect. Oh, good golly, I'm airborne. This isn't going to end well for me. At number 6, we've got the Pitchfork. Now, the Pitchfork generally is a farming tool. However, it has been known to be used for poking and prodding and occasionally for storming a castle with an angry mob. I know what you guys are thinking. Pitchfork? Really, baiters? A fucking pitchfork? To which I'd reply with, Hey, what's that over there? <laughs> See you later, suckers! <laughs> No, seriously though, I wouldn't have included a fucking pitchfork in a top 10 weapons list, except this list features all new weapons in Fallout 76. And after all the research I could find online, Bethesda has only shown off 10 new weapons for Fallout 76. And guess what? The pitchfork is one of them. Yippee fucking Kaye, right? Once the beta comes out, I will revise this list, but until then, you're all gonna have to settle with pitchfork, aka a big pointy stick. I mean, it is good at killing three of something, like triplets or whatever. And maybe if there's like a mutated triplets or something, you could fucking stab all three of them at once. I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk it up, but there's just no talking it up. It's a pitchfork. It's a pointy fucking stick. I'd love to tell you it's going to be awesome, but let's face it. It's a fucking pitchfork. Unless it mysteriously transforms into not a pitchfork, then this is a pretty bullshit weapon. I would almost rather a pitch spoon because then I could eat giant soups and I love soup. I love soup. It's so good. It's delicious when it's inside of me. I love it. Now, this is probably not the coolest weapon on this list, nor is it the most interesting, but fuck it. It's new, right? So let's bask in its mediocrity. Oh, yeah. Bask in it, baby. Woo, yeah. Feel it. Oh, yeah. That's some good old mediocrity right there. Mm, I love it. I rate this weapon one cat. Who didn't think things through? Honey, the cat's stuck between the windows again. Oh my god, it's bad this time. It's gonna be alright, buddy. It's gonna be alright. At number 5, we've got the Fire Axe. Now, I used to think a Fire Axe could put out a fire by chopping off its flaming demon head. However, according to my group therapy session, that is not the case. The Fire Axe is a wooden handled axe with a heavy steel head intended for firefighting use. It has a broad, finely sharpened front blade and a sharp pick point on the rear of the head. 
The long hardwood handle allows for sweeping attacks at reasonable distance and it's partially rubber coated to ensure a good grip on this weapon. So it doesn't just slip out of your hands like your penis at the bus station. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, ma'am. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> my mistake, lady. My mistake, all right? Fuck. Calm down, all right? I didn't mean to hit you in the air. Originally designed for breaking down walls and doors, this weapon can inflict severe damage to a soft target. Now, I can vouch for this. I once hit a squid directly in the brain with a fire axe, and let's just say this. It wasn't very happy. So I jumped right out of the bathtub, and I left. All right, I got out of there because I just didn't want to deal with an angry squid in the bathtub. All right, I got other things to do with my life. All right, I'm busy. I got things I'm doing. Now, girls love fire axes. That or the internet has been fucking lying to me for years. So if you really want to get a girl wet in the panties, all you have to do is show her a really awesome fire axe like this one, then shoot her in the panties with a water pistol and she'll be wet in the crotch area for literally minutes. The Fire Axe is a weapon that was available in previous Fallout games, but again, wasn't available in Fallout 4. It looks like it is going to be a fun melee weapon in Fallout 76, and by the looks of it, you'll be able to customize it and give it a real Mad Max feel. So look out, Immortal Joe, you weird looking man, baby, because I come prepared. This is definitely a weapon that I'm really excited to use in Fallout 76, and it's a really cool addition to the game. I rate this weapon one rare sighting of the knife bird. They're pretty rare, but don't get too close, because he'll fucking stab you. At number four, we've got the MG42. Now, the MG42, aka the Machine Gun 42, is a 7.92 times 57 millimeter Mauser general purpose machine gun designed in Nazi Germany and used exclusively by Wehrmark and the Waffen SS during the second half of World War II. Now, I probably pronounced both of those German words completely wrong, and I'm so sorry for that if you're German. It was intended to replace the earlier MG34, which was more expensive and took much longer to produce, but both weapons were produced until the end of the war. This thing shoots like a lot of bullets, like really fast one after the other. This gun is like the overachiever of light machine guns. Designed to be low cost and easy to build, the MG42 proved to be highly reliable and easy to operate. It is most notable for its very high cyclical rate for a gun using full power service cartridges, averaging about 1200 rounds per minute, compared to around 850 for the MG34, and perhaps 450 to 600 for other common machine guns like the M1919 Browning or the Bren. This ability made it extremely effective in providing suppressive fire, and its unique sound led to it being nicknamed Hitler's Buzzsaw. This weapon shoots so many bullets so fast it would give Wile E. Coyote a fucking chubby penis. Now the MG42 was adopted by several armed organizations after the war and was both copied and built under license. Now the MG42's lineage continued past Nazi Germany's defeat, forming the basis for the nearly identical MG1 chambered in 7.62x51 mm NATO, which subsequently evolved into the MG183 and later the Bundeswehr's MG3 and the Italian MG42-59. It also spawned the Yugoslav nearly identical Zastafa M53, the Swiss MG51, and Sig MG710-3, Austrian MG74, and the Spanish 5.56x45mm NATO Ameli light machine gun, and lent many design elements to the American M60 and Belgian mag. Now, I'm positive that I pronounced all of those words wrong. So if you're from any of those countries, then so sorry. Didn't mean to. In all fairness, I just learned how to read yesterday. So fuck yeah, go me, right? <laughs> yeah, all right. This is another gun we saw a lot of in the trailers for Fallout 76. So we get a really good idea on how this weapon will look and function in the game. This is a weapon that I've never seen in a Fallout game before, and it just looks like a lot of fun to use in the game. I rate this weapon that one roommate that really doesn't respect your privacy. What are you looking at, huh? Porn? Are you looking at porn? No? No? Then why is your dick in your hand, huh? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? I'm seriously, dude. Get out of my room. At number three, we've got the grenade launcher. A grenade launcher is a weapon that fires a specially designed large caliber projectile, often with an explosive smoke or gas warhead. 
Today, the term generally refers to a class of dedicated firearms firing unitary grenade cartridges. The most common type are manned portable shoulder-fired weapons issued to individuals, although larger crew-served launchers are issued at higher levels of organization by military forces. I like how the name of grenade launcher is just a description of what the weapon does. I feel like more weapons should have descriptive names like this. You know, instead of Beretta, we could call it the Bullet Blaster, and instead of Machete, we could call it a really big fucking knife. And instead of Bazooka, we could call it like a Bomb Blower, or a Bomb Kiss, or, or a Kissy Bomb, or something, I don't know. I guess Bazooka works, fuck it. <laughs> Seems like a pretty good name after, actually, in retrospect. Now, this weapon is great for people who don't like accuracy and don't mind taking out some innocent bystanders in the process. Basically, you can huff and puff and blow Piglet's fucking whole world apart with this thing. Eeyore would be all like, holy shit, you just blew up my boy Piglet. Why would you do that? And you'd be all like, because I can. That's why, bitch. Now, before the creation of this weapon, people would just have to throw grenades at each other. And if you got picked last in gym class because you threw like a little bitch, then you would have a huge disadvantage. But not anymore. No, no. Not with the invention of the grenade launcher. Now, there was a grenade launcher in Fallout New Vegas as well. That grenade launcher was a pump-action operated weapon firing 40 millimeter grenades from a tubular magazine. Despite being only slightly larger than the grenade rifle, it had twice the weight. So I can only assume that the grenade launcher in Fallout 76 will be similar in design and function. Even though the grenade launcher was available in some of the previous Fallout games, it was not available in Fallout 4. However, button up your panties because the grenade launcher will now be available in Fallout 76 for those hardcore explosive fanatics. I rate this weapon that moment you realize a bull's about to run right into your fucking face. Oh no! At number two, we've got the Black Powder Rifle. Now the Black Powder Rifle, aka the Buffalo Rifle, generally refers to large caliber, generally single shot, black powdered cartridge firearms, which were used to hunt the American bison or buffalo to near extinction in the late 19th century. Three types of rifles in particular were used by professional buffalo hunters, namely the Springfield Rifle, the Remington No. 1, otherwise known as the Rolling Block, and Sharps Rifle. The Sharps was the favorite amongst hunters because of its accuracy at long range. Although these bad boys are generally a single shot weapon, they are known for being really powerful and accurate from long range. So don't just shoot them up in the air all willy nilly, okay? Because you could accidentally shoot an oblivious Martian drinking tea on the moon and blow his little Martian head off his little Martian body and then we'd be at war with a bunch of little Matt Damons. And I don't need that type of shit on my conscience right now, okay? Now these guns are used for killing elephants and other gigantic animals. As far as I'm aware, elephants don't have a gun for killing humans. If they did, it would be much smaller, I'm sure of it. Now who the fuck wants to kill an elephant anyways? I mean, what the fuck did Dumbo do to you that you gotta go out and shoot his uncle Babar in the trunk, aka his face penis? I mean, it seems dark if you ask me. I once saw an elephant draw a picture of itself. That video would have had a much darker ending if someone shot it in the face mid-painting. I mean, if you want to shoot big game with big guns, wait until we bring dinosaurs back to life. I mean, it's only a matter of time now. Only a matter of time. This is another single-shot powerful weapon that's going to be usable in Fallout 76, and although we don't get any in-game images of this weapon, I for one can't wait to blast a gigantic semi-intelligent gentle creature in the face while they do arts and crafts. I rate this weapon that moment you realize you just don't want to have children. Hey buddy, you want to stop that shit? And at the number one spot, we've got the M2 Browning. Now I don't know about you guys, but I like big guns and I cannot lie. Actually, that's not true, I can lie. But I wouldn't, because this big gun tickles my weenus like super fucking hard. And that's not a lying matter, folks. No sorry, Robert, it's not. The M2 Browning is a new weapon in Fallout 76, and it's so big and powerful, it makes all the king's horses and all the king's men stop and go, Holy fuck, that's a nice gun right there. Look at that. Good God. Are you seeing that? The M2 machine gun is a heavy machine gun designed towards the end of World War I by John Browning. He named it after his favorite color, Browning. Just kidding. 
That's not a real color. It was nicknamed Maduus by U.S. troops or simply called 50 cal in reference to its caliber. Maduus is Dutch for... I'm gonna drop a deuce when I see the big fucking gun because it scares the shit out of me. The design has had many specific designations. The official designation for the infantry type is the Browning Machine Gun Caliber .50 M2 HB Flexible. Now the Browning .50 Machine Gun has been used extensively as a vehicle weapon and for aircraft armament by the United States from the 1920s to the present day. It was heavily used during World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, as well as during operations in Iraq in the 1990s and 2000s. It is the primary heavy machine gun of NATO countries and has been used by many other countries. It is still in use today. It is also very similar in design to the smaller M1919 Browning machine gun .3006 Springfield. Now this weapon is definitely going to be a fun and powerful addition to Fallout 76. I rate this weapon one kid who has a really hard time making friends. Billy, no! That's not how we play with the pigs! That fucking kid is dumb as nails. Thanks again for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to bitch slap that subscribe button like it's three weeks behind on your rent. <laughs> bitch! Where's the money, bitch? Where's the money? Where is it? Also, go ahead and hit that bell icon, too, because apparently YouTube thought... There should be extra steps. Why not, right? I'd like to subscribe, but first I have to click this and this and do this. Oh, it needs an email. All right, and this. Okay, fuck. Just tell me when he's uploading. Fuck! Once you do all that, if you're lucky, at the stroke of midnight, a tiny little average baiter's fairy might come and tickle your butthole. Also, if you want to see another top 10 similar to this one, then go ahead and click that sexy little icon at the bottom left of the screen. And I hope to see you all again next time for another top 10.